वेलकम टू जावाई जसम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन टॉक अबाउट ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच इज जावा इंटरव्यू फॉर द फाइव ईयर एक्सपीरियंस डेवलपर ओके सो बेसिकली एज ए फाइव ईयर एक्सपीरियंस डेवलपर्स वन ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स गिवेन द इंटरव्यू इन द एल टी आई माइंड ट्रिक एंड ही लाइक ही गिवेन द इंटरव्यू फर्स्ट राउंड सेकेंड राउंड एंड क्लियर द इंटरव्यू ऑल्सो and then after he shared me some of the common questions which uh, interviewer have asked uh, in LTI mind tree in the first round or second round so if you are preparing for that the same then this video is very very important for you okay so let's uh, start now so this interview they have conducted for if you have a 2 uh, to 7 year experience as a java developers or maybe java full stack developer so what are the mistakes people are doing i will cover those also and how you can prepare well i will cover those also so let's start now so the first question is in the lti mind tree tell me about yourself and with your project and skill so in that case uh, if they ask about yourself and project and skills then you have to take the pause and you have to start with like hey good morning yeah good afternoon i am a java full stack developer with 5 uh, year experience in designing and developing scalable web applications and i have expertise in java spring boot hibernate microservices what are the technology you know you have to tell all those things and then after if you have a idea about front end or database you can explain those also aws also it's look good okay then after you can move like hey i worked on restful api database optimization cloud development like aws ci cd pipelines those you can explain my experience also include agile methodology version control like git and containerization containerization with docker and kubernetes so you have to give the proper introductions about you then after you can start with your project like hey my project is uh, some e-commerce and uh, in that we have used the technology which is java spring boot react and uh, then after you can explain okay as java spring boot react and my sqls and uh, develop a microservice based architectures and for all multi vector multi vendor e-commerce systems and implemented a jwt based authentications and role based access controls using a spring boot with hibernate for the back end and react with the redux of the front end optimize the sql query and added the ready sketching improving the api response time by 40% and i am excited about the opportunity at uh, lti mind tree because i enjoy solving a complex problems building a scalable applications and working with uh, cutting edge technology i look forward to contribute my uh, skills to your team so this is one of the proper introductions you have to tell in front of the interviewers so guys if you not remember it try to remember all those things and explain your um, about you your project and your skills in that way so the chance will getting the selection is will be more okay let's move to the second questions so second questions uh, the interviewer asked like okay explain the microservice architectures okay so how you can explain it so microservice is a architectural styles where an application is broken down into the small independent services that communicate with each other using a api and each service is a loosely coupled independent deployable deployable and focused on a a specific business capability right and microservice architecture component you can explain like what are the um, things we have to be involved while developing a microservices so you can say this is the pattern also or this is the component also so definitely if you are going with the microservice architectures we need api gateway for the single entry point to manage all the incoming request and routes them to the appropriate microservices handle the authentication load balancing and rate limiting we can do inside the api gateway example for example you can take a spring cloud gateway or nginx or kong api gateway so those are the possibility we have 
सेकेंड वन इज लाइक सर्विस रजिस्ट्री डिस्कवरी दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी गुड कॉम्पोनेंट सो सर्विस रजिस्ट्री देम सेल्फ टाइमिकली एंड डिस्कवर अदर सर्विसेस एग्जाम्पल यूरे का या कंसोल और जू की पर इंटर सर्विस कम्युनिकेशन सो फॉर कम्युनिकेटिंग बोथ माइक्रो सर्विसेस टू माइक्रो सर्विसेज वट आर द वे वी हैव सो यू कैन से सिंक्रोनस और असिंक्रोनस फॉर सिंक्रोनस वी कैन यूज रेस्ट ए पी आई और रेस्ट टेम्पलेट वेब क्लाइंट जी आर पी सी और असिंक्रोनस यू कैन यूज रेबिट एम क्यू काफ का इवन ड्रिवन आर्किटेक्चर्स ओके फॉर डेटा बेस वी हैव ए फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी फॉर पर माइक्रो सर्विसेज सो इच माइक्रो सर्विसेज हैड इट्स ऑन डेटा बेस टू प्रिवेंट द डिपेंडेंसी इशू सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द मेजर थिंग्स कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द माइक्रो सर्विस आर्किटेक्चर्स डेटा बेस पर माइक्रो सर्विसेज ओके एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लॉगिंग मोनिटरिंग सो पीपल्स आर फॉरगेट वेन दे दे आर एक्सप्लेनिंग द माइक्रो सर्विस आर्किटेक्चर्स सो प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट लाइक वॉट इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड लॉगिंग मोनिटरिंग लॉग्स फॉर द मल्टीपल माइक्रो सर्विसेज आर कलेक्टेड इन द सेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम्स ओके सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द माइक्रो सर्विसेज हैविंग ए मल्टीपल सर्विस सो हाउ यू कैन सेंट्रलाइज ऑल दोज लॉग इन टू द वन प्लेस सो फॉर दैट यू हैव ए सम डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लॉगिंग मोनिटरिंग टूल्स लाइट राइट फॉर ई एल के स्टैक इलास्टिक सर्च एंड देन आफ्टर यू हैव ए लाइक एसप्लॉन्क ग्रेफाना so you can use those technology to definitely centralize your all those logs into the one place let's move uh, third questions they ask like hey what is the solid principle so i for, based on my experience i know like solid principle is very very important questions nowadays so each and every interviewers are definitely going to ask these questions hey what is the solid principle so solid principles having a some uh, full forms like s for single responsibility principle open close principle least scope substitution principles interface segregation principles dependency inversion of principles each each full form having a each on responsibility so let's go with the single responsibility principle so single responsibility principle means uh, a class should have only one reason to change each class should handle only one responsibility so that is the single responsibility principle open close principle means open for extension and close for modifications so this is the open close principles third one is like least scope substitution principles so it's a sub type should be substituted for their base type so without breaking the applications it means you have to create the interface for each layers okay interface segregation principle client should not be forced to depend on the interface they do not use okay and instead of one large interface break into the smaller so it's suggesting like hey interface segregation principle will suggest you to break down the independent interface into the multiple parts if it is possible okay and d is like dependency inversion of principles so it's a high level modules should not be depend on the low level modules both should depends on the abstractions and those we can achieve with the help of the like field level injections or maybe setter injections you can do and you can achieve it okay let's move to the fourth questions so fourth question is nothing but what is the micro service design patterns have you used in your project so that is one of the most important questions in the micro services people are asking okay Uh, what is the micro service design patterns and have you used in your project so even if you have used or if you don't use you have to tell those micro service design patterns otherwise they understand you don't have a idea about the micro service design pattern okay so you can tell like we have used the api gateway patterns we have used the database per service patterns okay we have used the circuit breaker patterns event driven patterns okay common query responsibility segregation saga patterns to maintain the transactions for the multiple services okay so you can go with that okay uh, you can pause the video you can go with that it's very easy okay fifth question is how to improve the performance of a spring boot api okay so you can optimize the database queries okay first things so 
you can optimize like how you can improve the performance of a Spring Boot API. Or somebody people are asking, hey, how you can improve the performance of REST API or your uh, uh, what are the endpoints you have or how how you can improve the performance of your application. So all those things will be covered inside this itself. Okay. So what you can do is you have to optimize the database query. So optimizing a database queries, you have to use the indexing for the frequently queries column use the pagination instead of fetching all the records at once avoid n plus one query problems using the joins or uh, batch fetching in hibernate enable connection pulling hackery cp so that it will give the better performance enable caching so use the redis or elastic cache to frequently access data cache api response using a spring cache and implement catchable annotation to reduce the redundant database call okay use asynchronous processing like async background task if you have like send the email send the notification so you can use the async annotations to do the independent work or independent of the methods use a computable features to uh, par parallelize the processing so parallel you can do each and everything implement the rabbit mq kafka for the event driven application so this is the way to improve your performance you can tell also about optimize the rest api calls okay implement a gg compression to reduce the payload size use http2 for faster request processing minimize dto conversion to avoid unnecessary object mapping overhead enable lazy loading for related uh, entities Fifth is like improve the thread management. So you can go with the like uh, Tomcat thread pool sitting, virtual threads or executor service to optimize it. Implement a connection pooling. So use a Hikari CP for the database connection pooling and use the minimum or maximum connection pool size. So based on that, you can optimize the performance. Reduce memory uses. So G1's, uh, G1GC garbage collectors, they have provided in the Spring Boot for the better memory management. Set appropriate JVM heap size, avoid memory leaks by properly closing the resources like DB correction or stream. So this is the sum of the way to improve the performance of your applications. Okay. Optimize the logging and monitoring times. Okay. Reduce the log level info like productions, debug instead uh, info instead of debug. Use uh, centralized logging, ELK. Monitor API performance with the Spring Actuators. Implement rate limit or deploy the efficiently using the Docker Kubernetes so that you can give the better performance. Okay. Next thing is uh, they have given one questions to write a questions and code for that. So they have given one coding questions like write a Java code to find the duplicate characters with count if a space is duplicate write a space and use java add features okay so i hope guys you know very well like what are the strings you have you can convert to the characters which is a stream and then after you can map to the object and again you can convert to the characters and convert to the characters after that you can collect and just apply the grouping by function dot identity and collector dust counting so through that you can achieve each character frequency and then after you can uh, try to print it like hey um, what are the data we have duplicate dot entry set dot stream and filter which is greater than one then for each and for each entry you can try to print the key and value if key is equal to equal to empty then print the key as a space and then entry of the uh, like uh, then after you can print the entry of the key okay and uh, otherwise entry of the key plus entry of the value so here uh, we have to give the value so this is the one of the mistakes we have so you can give here entry dot get value so like that we can do okay so this is the one of the way and uh, please guys please prepare in the very proper way so that you cannot miss out those interview questions okay this is the very very important questions tell me about yourself okay so please focus on that also Thank you so much guys. Thank you so much guys. I hope you understood very well. Okay. Let's meet to the next video.